Think about the factors that make an animation real. What comes to your mind? Light, material, or render settings? But an important factor in an architectural animation is the presence of a sense of life. It is similar to the movement of water, fire, or smoke. But we see less of the movement of water in architectural animations, because simulating water is difficult. But in the 3ds Max software, we can get the best results by using the Chaos Phoenix plugin. This plugin simulates water, fire, and smoke. In this video, we are going to start by filling the bathtub with water, and then we're going to turn on the bathtub faucet. I promise you, water simulation will give your animations a sense of life and make them very, very realistic. So let's do it together. Hi, welcome to MimViz. Let's take a look at the scene. I have a bathtub. What better than to fill it with water and make a beautiful animation out of it? First, you must have installed the Phoenix plugin, but leave the rest to me. I am going to say everything very simply and fluently, so don't worry. I go into isolation to gain more control. To do this, I can use the Alt and Q keys. Remember, to create a water in a bathtub or any other object, you must use the Create Phoenix Liquid Simulator option. Now, we can specify the water simulation limit by creating a box. After that, activate the initial fill up option in the dynamics section. Click on start simulation to create a water simulation. But here is a problem for us. As you can see, the water volume covers the entire liquid simulator range but we want to create a water simulation only in the bathtub. Well, let's solve this problem. We need an object from the interior of the bathtub. First, detach the inner polygons of the tub. So I go to Edit Poly and select the internal polygons. As you see, it isn't easy to select them. So I go to select by angle and set the value to 20. So polygons with an angle difference of less than 20 are selected for me. Easy. I'm going to detach it as a clone object. Now I'm isolating the new object. Next, I will create caps in the holes of the object so that I have an object without holes. After that, I select all the polygons and use the flip option to reverse the normal direction of them. Now, the normal direction of all the polygons is outwards. This object can be calculated by the Phoenix Fluid Simulator. In the next step, create the Liquid Simulator box. Then, right-click on it and go to the Chaos Phoenix Properties section. And now, select the Initial Liquid Fill option. This makes the water simulation within the scope of the object we have prepared. Now, I'm going to click on the Start Simulation option. The result is the same as we had been waiting for. But let's see if, in the last step, we weren't using flip polygons. What would happen? Yes, as you can see, the liquid will be simulated out of our object's range. 
Now we come out of isolation. Remember that any object within the scope of the Phoenix liquid simulator is considered a collision with water. So far, we have been able to fill the bathtub with water. This object we have created for the limit of water simulation. So we want it not to be visible in rendering and viewport. Use this trick. Right click on the object and go to the object properties section. Now select the display as box option and disable the renderable option. Done. Now it's time to turn on the faucet to let the water pour into the bathtub. The first thing we need to do is expand the box of the liquid simulator to include the faucet. Now, let's go to the faucet object. Go to the edit poly in this object and create a cap from the border section. Now, I'll detach it. This polygon determines where the water will flow and move in the simulation. In order to get a better result, I make it smaller using the scale tool. Now go to the liquid source option and create its icon in the viewport. From the settings section, we'll add the polygon as an emitter node. Now we'll click on the start simulation option to see the result. If you don't see anything in the faucet flow simulation, this is because the size of the voxels is larger than your polygon. From the liquid simulator settings, click on the increase resolution option to get the voxel size to half a centimeter. This will allow us to have more accurate calculations and more details. But if the amount is lower than half a centimeter, it can reduce the speed of your system by a lot. So keep it in the same range. Now, by increasing the resolution, you can see that the simulation of the liquid faucet is in progress. But to display it better, you need to go to Liquid Simulator Settings, disable the Show option from the Particle Preview section, and turn on the Show Mesh option. Now you can see the result better. I'm going to use Chaos Vantage to watch the final result. Now let's move on to the settings. I suggest that in the Dynamics section, set the step per frame to 4. But in the Liquid Source settings, which is related to the water faucet, the outgoing velocity option is very important. This option controls the intensity and volume of the water simulation that comes out of the faucet. I increase the amount to get a better result. I got close to the result I wanted. And then, I choose a water material from the Cosmos to see the final output. Now let's introduce a scenario for it. I want a 20 second animation that each second is made up of 30 frames, so I need 600 frames. I want the faucet to open in the third second. So let's do it. I turn on the Auto key and set the velocity to 0 on frame 0 to 110.
Now I set this amount to 55 on frame 125 until the water movement starts in the third second and until it finally continues. Finally, I also set the keyframe for the faucet object to move in the third second. To render the animation, I use the Chaos Vantage software. Its speed is great. Now let's go and watch the final animation together. Do not forget that to become a brand in your work, you need to increase your knowledge and skills every day. MIMVs will be with you on this journey. So subscribe to our channel and support us with likes and comments. Thank you for being with us in this video. Until the next video, goodbye.